Hey, so welcome back to my channel. I am Jason and this is from Sin's Perspective Reviews. So I just watched the first episode of The Island, new, uh, the new Netflix series, The Island. And so far I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, so there, there are these 10 people. They wake up on this island. Um, there are no planes, trains, automobiles, or boats to speak of. So the question is, there are a number of questions. How did these people get there? But, okay, so the first person we see who wakes up is Chase. Chase, uh, and next to her was this uh, seashell. So she starts blowing the shell to kind of signal maybe somebody's around who can, you know, let her know what is going on. And so the next person we see is KC. So next to KC is a knife. So you, uh, Chase turns and she sees KC. And so she walks up to her like a normal person would. And like, okay, well, um, do you know where we are? Like, what's going on here? And KC is kind of standoffish. And uh, she's... Uh, She's different. KC is different. And by different, I mean, I just, KC is a snake ass trifling bitch. Okay. So we going to move on from, we'll come back to that. So she ends up uh, saying that, you know, I don't know, you could be friend or foe. And then she ends up pulling the knife basically on Chase. So Chase gets the knife from her and wouldn't give it back to her. So at this time, Cooper, who is the only black guy, he runs up and said, oh, there are other people. So then they go and meet with the other people. And so, of course, everybody's kind of just standing around, like trying to figure out, okay, what the hell is going on? Who are you people? Um, how do we get here? And it's, it's so deep that not only do they not know wh um, where they are, how they got there, they don't even know their own names. So it's like, it's like their memory has been completely erased. Okay. So they're sitting around, and Chase is kind of kick kicking around some ideas. Like everything that Chase say, uh, KC shoots it down like she's just a fucking bitch okay so eventually KC turns to uh, the per uh, the person who was sitting next to her which was Blair and she found out this is where the names come in uh, she looked at the tag in Blair's shirt and so that's when people started looking at their tags and that's how we got the names so these are the names that they're going by they have no idea if these are their real names but they, these are the names that they're um the only names that they have to use. So we already know Chase and uh, KC. Then there's Donovan. Brody, um, he's the guy who played in I Am Four. So I don't know if you've seen that. Um, that came out a couple of years ago. Um, uh, that was Brody. Moses, I can't remember his name, but I know he played in a number of episodes of the U.S. version of Being Human. Um, Hayden, Blair, Mason, and Taylor. And so on Cooper. So, okay. So that's where the names come in. So now they're like, okay, so now we have something to refer to each other by. So that's the only, like I said, that's all they have to go by. So eventually, uh, Chase said, okay, so we should probably kind of look around, see if we can find food, shelter, find, uh, something. And so initially nobody wanted to go with her. And of course, there's another idea that Casey shot down. So eventually Donovan and Brody decided to go with her. So, um, along the beach, what they were doing, they were stopping where the other people were uh, woke up because it seems like there was something next to each person. So they started picking these things up along the way. And so eventually Donovan decides to head back to the camp and uh, Brody and Chase continue on. So they continue on through the woods and they eventually come to this waterfall it seems like it, you know it's clean fresh water um they could probably set up a camp there it's the whole thing but initially brody was like i don't think that we should say anything and chase was like well why why, why do you, you want this to be your little secret and you know they kind of just flirting a little bit and so they kissed and she was like okay that's you know that's all you know enough is enough so let's, let's continue on or you know let's get find, do what we need to do and so he didn't want to leave it there so he actually jumps her, he attacks her, and he actually tries to rape her. So she fights him off. Now keep in mind, she still has the knife she took from KC. So she fights him off, she pulls a knife on him, and he's like, oh, well, I was just joking. So Jody is, uh, Jody, uh, Brody is a piece of shit. Okay, so we get that out and out the way. So she runs away. Um, during this time, Donovan makes his way back to the camp, and, um, uh, and uh, he decides, okay, you know, it's hot. It's, a, you know, you're, we're in paradise. I mean, it's a beautiful beach, but still, uh, it's a fucked up situation. But he decides, you know what, let's go for a swim. It's hot. Let's all go in the water. So, of course, Casey is like, nah, I'm good. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So, um, Taylor 
So Taylor, Donovan, Cooper, and I believe Hayden, was it Hayden or Blair? I can't remember which one it was. Hayden Blair. They decide they go into the water and they're having a good time. And um, the next thing you know, a shark. A bit. So Moses, he decided he was, he, he didn't go in. So he sees the shark. He starts screaming, shark, shark. So now everybody's banned and they're trying to get out of the water. Unfortunately, Donovan wasn't so lucky and he was pulled under by the shark. So at this point, they've already lost one person. Um, so, uh, Brody comes back to the camp and he has, um, he, he put all of the things that they were finding along the way in his shirt. So he, he had all of, uh, these things, like it was a compass and some other stuff. And next, you know, Casey was like, did that bitch find it? And so he says, I was like, well, she's, she's not a bitch. Um, he's like, well, that's so Casey is like, well, that's pretty convenient how she's going around digging up things along the way. Like, how does she know that these things were there? And like, she really are, she's already starting her campaign against Casey to discredit Chase. Okay. Um, so, um, he decides, so Brody is already trying to assert his, he wants to be the shot caller. So he's like, okay, so we're going to go move further down and set up camp, da da da. And initially they didn't want to go, but they did um, eventually. So now he's sitting around just delegating. Okay, you get firewood, you do this, you do this, you do that. And so initially people were kind of looking. He was like, oh, we all come on, we all need to work together. So, okay. So um, while they're doing that, um, Chase, she gets back to the camp. And so she was like, well, I found some, she found some uh, fruit or something along the way. And then she walks over and she hits the shit out of uh, Brody. And they're like, okay, so they grab her and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And she said, you're basically like, he attacked me. He, he, he attacked her. And she was like, did you tell him about the waterfall? And they were like, what waterfall? Yeah, we found a waterfall with fresh water. And da, da, da. I knew he wouldn't tell you because he, he, remember, he wanted it, to, you wanted it to be our little secret. And so he, um, they're basically, so she's still trying to get at him and they're holding her back, Donovan and I think it was Mason. I don't know if it was Mason or Moses that was trying to hold her back, but she's trying to get at him. And so he was like, that's ridiculous. I didn't attack her. Um, and if, let's keep this real. If I had attacked her, would you, would you uh, just show up with food and fruit and be like, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, I found food. Like he's doing like the end. He's trying to discredit her because he's a piece of shit. Okay. So, um, so eventually Chase walks off and Moses, I think it was Moses asked, okay, so what happened out there? And so Brody just says, oh, well, it was just a kiss. And you can tell that they didn't believe him. But given the situation, they want to stay on task at hand because they're, they're actually in survival mode. Okay, so they wanted to kind of get past it. So uh, Hayden and Blair walked over to Chase and she just wasn't in the mood to talk. So she was like, just leave me the fuck alone. Um, so while this was going on, KC is now sitting in Brody's ear like, you know what her problem is? She's fucking crazy. So for some reason, Chase... The, like between Brody and uh, KC, they've made her made Chase out to be the bad guy for some reason. Um, well, I'm not gonna say for, for some reason. I just think that Brody is a piece of rape, rapist, piece of shit, and KC is a fucking psycho. And I think that she knows more about what's going on than she's letting on. So she, um, because she tends to stay away from the group, and even uh, we're about to get to this. So um, the next day, so they all. Settle down for the night. And the next morning, um, Chase is the first one to wake up. So she has some nightmare where she, there's a lot of blood on the floor. And she has a gun on someone. And the person is begging for her not, beg, begging for her not to kill them. And then she wakes up. So she, uh, she gets up and she grabs the axe. I don't know if she was going to go find food. But she's walking down the beach. And she sees Donovan. So somehow... Donovan ends up further down the beach um, in some leaves. Some, I guess he was able to crawl, get out of the water. So she finds him. He's still alive, but he's badly injured. She signals to the other people. Now, of course, all everyone except KC comes running. And so they, you know, trying to figure out, okay, how they're going to do this. I, so what you get is, I don't know if Blair is a doctor and she just doesn't realize it. So she jumps into, okay, we need to tie this off. We need to do this. We need to keep him stabilized. Like she was going into that mode of somebody who has some medical training. 
So they were able to lift him up and they took him back to the camp. Um, so at this point, bro, uh, Chase is off to herself. They're, you know, tending to um, Donovan. And who walks up? Brody. So Brody walks over to her. And he's like, well, I just want to apologize. She was like, for what exactly? Attacking me or lying about it? He said, well, he's like, well, you know, it was just, I mean, I was just saying it in general. He's such a fucking piece of shit. Okay. So he's saying, well, I just thought that I would come by and, you know, I they're talking about having a meeting and I could really use your vote. And she was like, my vote? He wants to move further into, by the waterfall where he feel like it's fresh water and they'll be able to um, sustain for a while. And um, he wants her, he's trying to get her on his side. And then this motherfucker says, um, and by the way, it wasn't rape. You can't get raped in a place like this. It's either you have sex or you don't. And we didn't have sex. And he walks the fuck away. She should have took that damn seashell. Because she's still walking around with the seashell. She should have took that shit and pushed his hairline back. She should have bashed him in his fucking face. But, okay, she's so self-restraint. But he walks on. So eventually she she pops up to the meeting like, Well, I wasn't sure I was going to come come over. But you guys are all that I have. So what's, what's the meeting about? What's going on? And so he says a plan how he wants to move further in. But people are like, You know what? I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should stay on the beach. And we should uh, try to... Um, do whatever we can to uh, get whatever get whoever's attention that we can get, and we don't feel like if we move further in that we're going to do that. We could actually miss if somebody just happens by, we can miss them because we're further into further in. We're in the jungle here now, so of course he got an attitude because he again is vying for a position of power. He wants to set himself up as the leader, and so. Um, uh, Chase says, well, I think that we should stop and we should just get out of here. And so, okay, she's like, what are you talking about? And Brody's like, do you know something that we don't? And so then she starts talking about Hayden and Mason. Hayden and Mason was trying to, uh, they were kind of trying to put some things together. So they found out that there were 39 steps between each person, where each person um, was laying. And so they did the 39 times 10, and they... That's how many steps they took down the beach. And so they eventually come to a sign that says, find your way back. And so people are let down. They're like, oh, so what, what does that mean? What are we supposed to do with that? It's not giving us any direction. It's not like it's a map. And so people are just like, you know, they're just, people are just tired and hungry and just don't know what to do at this point. So they eventually turn back. They go back. And she's like, I don't, you know, I'm just saying it's something. It's more than we had before. And so they're just basically like, we don't, this is, this ain't shit. We don't, it's not a solution to any problems. And her whole thing is every little thing that we can find out and that we can do, it's going to move us forward. That's basically Chase's um, thing. So they go back. And so she stays, she stays behind. She stays at the sign. And she slams the seashell on the ground. And it breaks, and the next thing you, you see a beacon, you see something that's a beeping, a signal to something. And so that's basically how the episode ends. So, like I said, it's a really good episode, really good show um, so far. And um, I'm going to continue watching. I think the next time I'm going to watch two and three and do a recap of it all together. But, yeah. Um, Casey and Brody are something else. They are something, something else. So I'm going to end this here and I will talk to you guys later.